Hi. 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 Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. Yes. <laughs> Not that bad. So, Kristen, how excited were you when you know you found out that uh, Catherine and Vincent, you know, they, they, they're in a relationship now, and it's very. I really like how they present it. And Me too. Most TV shows, they really, it's always like, will they or won't they get together? But I like that they are together now and how you play it. So, how You know are what? You? I'm happy about it. I think the will they, won't they is fine and everything and there's a certain, there's a certain energy to that that does go away. Like, I mean, we all know there's a certain energy to the like, beginnings of something but I really am interested in how these two people actually relate because that's what love is like it's really over time through difficulty how do you how do you have this and they have a lot of difficulty but I love them they're really I mean they can be funny with each other they are really honest with each other they both can screw up and discuss it and and I like that they're they're really a team yeah I mean for me I've always found it very awkward, but I, I was like, you know what, I'm going to get over this. Like, who cares? And so it was good, and, and, and it is a weird environment, and it's, I think it's not what people think it is, but I felt much, like, I, what I wanted so much was to portray a loving interaction between two people. But because I see things on TV sometimes where it's like, especially with shows with young people, and I feel like they're going, I'm sexy, no, I'm sexy. I'm so sexy, you're so sexy, we're sexy, let's make out. I don't like it. And it makes me uncomfortable. So I just wanted to have like, and I talked about it a lot with everybody, like I just want this to be as loving as possible. Um, and that's what we tried for, so hopefully, I mean that makes it less awkward, because I just, I'm really bad at like being sexy, you know? Can you give us any hints <laughs> about how, now that Tess knows the secret about Vincent, yeah, yeah. How, how will that affect the relationship and how, will she be getting into mischief with JT and Vincent and everything? Well now there are the four of us, so there's more hands on deck. Um, Tess obviously doesn't know as much about the situation, but I've always wanted to see Tess and JT engage with each other because I have since we, even before we started the show, I was like, those two characters will be so funny together because they're kind of similar and they're both so biting in their humor. So there's some good scenes with them. Um, and it, it becomes Catherine and Tess as a team again. And JT and Vincent is a team, and sometimes Catherine and Vincent are a team. You know, like it just gives that. I like that about our show, that kind of friend team dynamic that we have. What's the one thing that attracted you to the role? Well, in part, it was our executive producer, Sherry and Jennifer. Um, and the role itself, I thought there was potential for an incredibly strong woman. And I think Catherine is becoming that more and more. Um, she's very, I, I really like her. I really think she's, she's fascinating. And I love working on her, her storylines and, and developing her. She's great. Kelly was, I'm oh, sorry, yeah. when, when you got the role, yeah. um, did you study the 1987 uh, um, I, Hamilton or anything? I didn't study it. Uh, I looked <clears throat> at it. Um, I think my whole thing is to understand the underlying metaphors of something and then look at the material that we have because it's, it's very different, I, I think. Um, although we have a lot of little tributes and homages and more and more. Like, there's so many up until the end of our season. Um, so yeah, to answer your question, I didn't really study it, but I looked at it. One of the things I asked Kelly was how the show has changed or evolved. Mm -hmm. Not so much your character, but in terms of just how the writing yeah. has gone, the drama going. So in your mind, how has that sh has the show well, changed as it's gone? I think it's a first season thing. Um, trying to find what the show is. And we started as a procedural in many ways, and now we're not. <laughs> now this is a full, it's really a mythology show, a romance and a mythology show. So that's been really interesting to watch, and I know that the writers have had quite the task to build that mythology really quickly, you know, because you, you try something and you're like, wait a minute, the best thing about this show is this love story and this mythology, and this stuff is, there's just too much. You can't tell a good procedural in, in that way. Um, but yeah, that's, it's been really, really dynamic to see that change as an actor, too. How much of a problem is Evan going to be these coming up, coming up? Big problem. <laughs> <laughs> Massive, huge 
huge problem. Um, he's it's it's going to be a, a really big issue for them, and Catherine's going to feel a lot of guilt and responsibility for it. Um, because she's the one who didn't tell him, and she's the one who handled the situation poorly, because she did. Um, and she's going to feel terribly about it. Will he be able to overcome his jealousy and still just feel his love for her, or will he just go to the dark side? Well, that's, I think that's going to be the struggle you'll see in um, the next episode, is Evan's struggle with that, and how he, if he chooses, if he chooses love, I mean, in Beauty and the Beast themes. Um, or not, you know? <laughs> uh, another big conflict throughout the season uh, is Heather and her, her relationship being uh, Catherine's roommate and yeah. now also finding out about Vincent, but only uh, not Zelensky. knowing. <laughs> yeah. So will that come, will that come up again uh, later this season at all, or will she learn more about Vincent? I think with Heather, they've kind of, with Darius dying and all of that, it kind of put that whole thing out of her mind. So you'll see Heather again, but... It's going to be more about their family because there's more stuff about their family that's going to be revealed. So it'll be Heather and Dad and and that kind of stuff. Like especially when we get into this episode called Anniversary, which is about Catherine, the anniversary of her mom's death. Like all of that stuff will come. Did Did Catherine handle the things with Vincent and Heather poorly, or is it more important that Heather remains in the dark? I think it's better that Heather remains. I mean. It, does Catherine want her sister to remain in the dark? Obviously, ultimately, no. But for everyone's safety, which is Catherine's primary concern, it's better if Heather's in the dark. Yeah, but that's going to be hard for her, and it's going to get harder for her as the season goes on to to have to do that in her life. Does Catherine get to have a say on the new digs on where the um, boys are going to be living? She tries. <laughs> <laughs> she gets shot down. <laughs> Catherine, again, Catherine's the man in this a little bit. She's like, we need safety. Everything needs to be safe so no one can enter. Um, and Vincent's a little bit more of the romantic in that situation. So she'll have a say, but it, it's a sweet thing that he does. Does she go in the tunnels underneath the city of New York? Oh, wait, that's a wait what? <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Is that what they're doing? They're going to go into the tunnels? We're there for a little while. Mm. We're hanging out down there. Is there thoughts of cohabitation at this early in the state? <laughs> no thoughts of cohabitation yet. Although, but yeah, no, no, not yet. She's that would be too difficult, too. How is she going to explain that one? Interesting to try. <laughs> Let's give that a couple seasons. <laughs> All right, thanks, you awesome. guys. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you. Bye. Have a good day. We're having a good conversation. Yeah. <laughs>